Thank you. Uh, I'm currently the chair of SHAC again this year. Uh, I'm very pleased to be back. Uh, just a little bit of what SHAC has been up to is uh, we try to work with as many communities throughout the state. We are empowered and our mission is to provide information to the commissioner and the legislative. We are responsible for just giving them input and suggestions on what they should do. Some of the things that we have done is we was able to, one of our committee members, uh, which is a shellfish digger, thought it would be a real good idea for us to try to get a trademark for the state of Maine for our shellfish, to try to actually get more money for our shellfish. We was able to work with the Department of U.S. Ag, so we now have the ability to get a trade mix on all of our shellfish, and the cost is very uh, minimal for dealers to get. We do have a few dealers that have gotten it, which has uh, been very helpful. One of the other things that Shack has done is, in Washington County, we was able to get uh, grant funding to add 10 more rain gauges throughout Washington County and we're going to get some more to put in Hancock County. What that actually did for us in Washington County was really reduce the number of rain closures we had because we had so many more rain gauges to really pinpoint all of the areas of concern. We also work with all of the other communities on other issues. One of the issues that we had that Shaq was involved in and I was very involved in was we had a district attorney who decided that municipal ordinances was up to the towns to enforce, not the district attorney. We had to go through a lot of negotiations and so forth, but we got that resolved as well. Another issue we had, in which we're still having issues, is where our fine money goes. Uh, some of the clerks, they changed the program at the state level, so a lot of our fine money started going to the state general fund instead of to the communities. That fine money is critical to each community to help fund their programs. Some of the other things that we have done is, I don't know how many of you may have heard about it, but Acadia National Park and those uh, lands was being put off limit to commercial harvesting of clams, mussels, periwinkle, and worms. We was actually able to get enough pressure put on so that they have changed the law on that. So that is not going on any longer as well. We had also made suggestions to DMR to improve their mapping system, which Cole had mentioned a little bit ago, which has dramatically helped improve the amount of data that communities and shellfish diggers could get rate on their cell phones while they're going to the flats. Uh, with that is some of the stuff that Shaq has been going on and will continue to work with all of the communities and anybody that wants to come. We really want people to show up at our meetings and we make certain we provide time for everybody to ask questions of us. So thank you. Thank you.